All right, guys, I have um, a very helpful tip for you guys from this video, and I just started doing this recently, and by recently, I mean the other day. Um, so as you know, I love programming. It's one of my uh, major passions, and over the last, like, year and a half, I never really took notes while learning it. I kind of just watched videos the entire time. Until, like, two days ago, I, you know, couldn't really catch on to a certain subject, so I was like, hey, let's try and take notes. Now we got, uh, two forms of notes. You got digital notes where you, you know, type it in with a keyboard, and you got pencil on paper. Now pencil on paper can also mean Apple Pencil and iPad. That counts, in my opinion, because you're actually writing instead of typing. So what I did was I, uh pulled up my notepad and I was actually learning CSS grids and those are just a way to lay out a web page a very easy way to lay out a web page so while I was uh, watching the videos I was basically just you know taking notes throughout the video and you know what each um, thing did when learning uh, CSS grids and by time like you know two three hours went by which is how I think it was about that to learn CSS grids. I pretty much knew everything. I didn't have to like rewatch the videos two or three times. I pretty much got like 99, if not 100% of everything. And that was from taking notes. I mean like all the practice questions on uh, Team Treehouse, and all, they have like little practice areas. I passed them with flying colors and it kind of opened up a whole new world for me, which uh, now all I want to do is go back and redo all the basically different sections that I only got about 60 to 70 percent knowledge from such as like CSS you know I kind of breezed by that and I didn't fully understand it so I think um, over the next few days or a few weeks I'll really be diving into learning old topics writing notes down and kind of retraining my brain a different way to learn with note taking because I think it'll prove tenfold and it'll help me out a lot. Now right now I pencil and paper. I mean that's all I got. Like I said I was doing digital notes on notepad but I think writing stuff down on paper has a little more beneficial or has more benefits to it. After doing some research I actually uh, came across a few articles that you retain more information when you're actually writing it down versus typing which also I think is going to be a which I know is a reason a lot of people have the iPads and the Apple pencils because you can have digital notes you can control F which is you know search through those digital notes with um, the find function which is incredible when you have a uh, or as when you have pen and, pen and paper pencil and paper you have to scroll through all your pa pages and look for what you wrote down and then with um an iPad and an Apple Pencil you can quickly look through it so I think that's gonna be something I get down in the future so that could be coming in a later video who knows and then in the meantime I'm also gonna be working on a desk or a new workstation which is gonna be my basement so you won't see this background as much anymore unless I decide to film a video from my room so once I get that entire workstation down in the basement together, well, that's where I'll be recording. But yeah, like I said, um, anything you're learning, whether it's fitness, programming, anything, photography, videography, take notes while you're watching videos. You know, for the longest time, I literally just started the video. Three hours later, I would probably retain 40 to 50, you know, percent of the information. But now that I'm taking notes, you know, I'm pausing it. I'm kind of retaining information as I learn it. I think it's a very smart tip. So, just wanted to hop on here real quick. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. This every other day thing is, it's tough, but I want to keep it consistent. So I'm providing, you know, different types of videos for you guys between fitness and coding, because like I said, those are my two passions. And I think the two of them are going to be um, big things, you know, over the next decade just because those are two things that money cannot buy and you literally have to put in the work to learn about it and I think the health industry and fitness industry will be growing forever 
and I believe the programming industry will be growing forever because it's all tech related and as many of you know the world is becoming more tech savvy than it ever was before and year by year it's exponentially growing. So that's why I'm getting into those two and I happen to love the two of them so it goes hand in hand. And then you know with the camera, filming, YouTube, I want to provide you guys with as much knowledge so you can join me in this wonderful journey. But until then I will catch you guys in what would be Sunday's video. It's going to be a good one. Can't wait to make it. And then um, leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. You know, I'm doing my best to do these things. So if you could join me on this journey, I'd appreciate it so much. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here. Peace out.